I can't do that. No, boy's a stupid poopy ass. Don't let him do that to you. I, you know what you do? I can't do that. Look at it. No, I don't want to look yeah. at it. I don't want to look you at know it. What you do. I don't want to look at it. He's mean. He's mean. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding back here. And I want to thank everybody who joined my live stream yesterday. I had so much fun. It was a blast. You guys were great. Even the dingbats were there, and they were being dingbats. Some good dingbats, some bad dingbats, but dingbats nonetheless. But during this live stream, and I thank everybody who joined me, and I hope you join me again in the future. But during this live stream, we were talking primarily about trades. Trades the Eagles can make by the 29th, by the trade deadline. And there were a lot of names being thrown around. Martavius Bryant, Carlos Hyde. Joe Staley, all sorts of guys. But the primary guy, the main guy that it seemed everybody talked about the most and seemed to pique most people's interest was Joe Staley. Everybody was talking about Joe Staley, and it was very interesting to me to see the discrepancies of what people thought he was worth value-wise and what the Eagles should get value-wise. So I was thinking about this, and I was thinking that most likely, if the Eagles were to trade for Joe Staley, the 49ers aren't going to want a player. They're not going to want a player because they haven't won any games. They want assets. They want draft picks. They want to accumulate that and get young players who can be, you know, who they can draft and bring in and build, you know, that way. So another interesting thought about making a trade is that the Eagles don't have enough assets. They've traded too many guys away to even think of making a move for Joe Staley. Now, I don't think that's possible. I think if you take 2018 and 2019, I think there's a way to work out something for Staley. So let's look at what the Eagles draft picks are going to be. What do we have in 2018 and 2019? We need to know what we're working with so we can know what we can offer the 49ers. So here I have the next two years draft picks Let's go over it. In 2018, the Eagles own their first round pick. They don't own a second. That was traded away in the Carson Wentz deal. Um, a third round pick, we don't have. We traded that with Jordan Matthews for Ronald Darby. So we have a first, no second, no third. Now we own our fourth. We also own the Minnesota Vikings fourth. That was part of the Sam Bradford trade, the trade that keeps on giving. Then... We also have the New England Patriots fourth round pick. Now the interesting part of this pick is it could become a third round pick depending upon how many snaps Eric Rowe plays. I believe he has to play in over half, then it becomes a third round pick. I don't have a snap count to this point, so I don't know where we are in that. So we're, for argument's sake for this, we're going to assume it stays a fourth round pick. Now the Eagles own a fifth. Their own fifth. They also own a fifth round pick from the Seattle Seahawks. That was part of the Matt Tobin deal. They gave away a seventh and Matt Tobin, I believe, for Seattle Seahawks fifth. Then the Eagles own a sixth. And as I said, they don't own a seventh round pick this year. So for 2018, the Eagles have a first, three fourths, two fifths, and a sixth. Now, when we look at what we have to work with with 2019, it's pretty good. We have pretty much all our picks. We have, we have all of our picks. And we actually have a Denver Broncos conditional seventh. We did have a New Orleans Saints conditional seventh. I think that was voided with the John Dornboss situation. So in 2019, the Eagles have a first, a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and a conditional seventh pick from the Denver Broncos. The condition, at least from what I've read here, of that seventh round pick from Denver is not listed or unknown. But that's part of the Allen Barber trade. Okay? So, the Eagles, as you can see, have enough picks to make things work. Now, the question becomes, what is Joe Staley worth? What is he worth? If you remember, when the Eagles traded for Jason Peters, he was in his prime. He was younger. He also 
was in Buffalo and he wasn't happy and all that kind of stuff, but he was younger and the Eagles gave up a first round pick. Now, a tackle, left tackle especially, the blind side blocker of your quarterback usually is very valuable and he tends to go, that position tends to go really early in the draft and look, you usually get a lot for it. Very important position. But when you add Joe Staley's age and the amount of money he makes, Along with the 49ers record, it seems to me that the 49ers would not be able to get a first round pick for him. They would not be able to get a second round pick for him because he's, I think he's 33 years old. He's only going to give a team a couple years. Let's face it. He's only going to give a team a couple. So what would it take for the Eagles? You don't have to give a first round pick. You don't have a second or third this year, even though you do in 2019. But what would it take? So here is the offer that I would extend to the 49ers. And I think it's a fair offer. And I think the 49ers would think about it and maybe possibly do it. And this is what I would do. I would offer them a fourth round pick this year. I would say we'll give you my four, our fourth this year. It still leaves the Eagles with two fourth round picks. I would say I want, we'll give you our fourth round pick this year. Then we will give you a fourth round pick in 2019. Now, if that 2019 fourth round pick reaches certain milestones, certain things, then that fourth round pick will be able to go all the way up to a third round pick. And maybe if the Eagles win the Super Bowl or get to the Super Bowl, that fourth round pick in 2019 can become a late second round pick. But Staley has to play all the games this year and he has to play all the games next year and if he does that then we will make it a third round pick or maybe possibly a late second depending upon how far we go and I would put escalators like that similar to what New England did in the Eric Rowe trade and I think this may entice the San Francisco 49ers to feel like they can make this move I think it's a smart move for the Eagles. I think it would be a smart move for the 49ers. The only way I could think the 49ers would want to keep somebody his age with his salary while trying to rebuild is they really think they're going to make a run at Kirk Cousins. Now, if they really think that, they may be holding on to him because they assume that next year they have Cousins and they become a contender right away. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. But I think if we're looking at a reasonable trade for a guy who's, I believe, 33 years old, who's got a pretty hefty salary, I think a fourth this year and a fourth next year with escalators in it is a fair, good deal to make. So that's what I would offer. What would you offer? I would love to hear your guys' opinion. Um, Leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. All that good stuff. And maybe soon the Eagles have something up their sleeve. We'll see. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.